Julian Hawthorne was an American writer. Born in 1846 in Salem, the son of novelist Nathaniel Hawthorne and painter and illustrator Sophia Peabody, he attended the Sanborn School in Concord, Massachusetts, a co-educational school his mother did not send her daughters to, as she did not approve of co-education at all. He began studying in Harvard in 1863, but was expelled in 1866 for too many absences. In 1867, he studied civil engineering at Cambridge, and in 1868, he moved his family to Dresden to study engineering at Heidelberg. He went on to work as an engineer in the New York City Dock Department from 1870 to 1872. In 1870, he married Mary Albertina Amelung, the pair having nine children. He began publishing in the 1870s and was employed by William Randall Hearst's newspaper syndicate. He reported on the Indian famine for the Cosmopolitan and was the reporter on the New York Journal sent to cover the Spanish-American War. In 1908, his friend from Harvard, William J. Morton, got Hawthorne involved in a scheme to promote mining companies in Canada. Hawthorne seemingly selling three and a half million shares of a fictitious mine, before being sent to prison for a year in 1913. After his release, he proceeded to live with his lover Edith Garrix, the two marrying in 1925 after the death of his wife. He died in 1934 in San Francisco. Archibald Mulmason was one of his earlier works, published in 1879. The story is presented as a true story, published with the approval of Dr. Rollinson, family doctor and son of the family doctor. The book takes place in the early 19th century. The central figure is one Archibald, second son of Sir Clarence Mulmason. Initially, he is quite the dull child taking much longer to start walking or talking than most children. But during his seventh year, after the death of his beloved Kitty, he starts bawling and suddenly his mind reverts to the state of a babe. He has to be re-educated from scratch, but seems to make rapid progress. He grows to dislike his previously beloved uncle, Richard Penroyal, and to really like his neighbour Kate from a very rich family, on good terms with the Mormasons, where previously he could not stand her. The two grow close, while Archibald discovers the secret of his ancestor, renowned as a wizard, for having escaped, by a seeming miracle, from a locked room encircled by soldiery. However, after seven years, he relapses into his former state, with Kate throwing him overboard and deciding to marry Penroyal but the cycle repeats once more, and with far more sinister consequences. Archibald's state is never explained, but is tied, somehow, into a legend of his ancestor, who was supposed to have sold his soul to the devil to allow him to come back to life every seventh year for a period of seven years, before going back to suspended animation. The book has one more supernatural element that is not exactly explained, but I shan't spoil it here. It is handled well, with a lot of pathos, and the fates of all the characters involved are quite, quite grim for any modern reader to delight in.